Well, it was slow going along Highway 395 north of Colville today as crews continue to keep up with a winter storm warning. Hawk Hammer was there as well today. He's been busy as the snow fell. They're expected to get up to seven inches or more through the night. It was a race between the plows, the shovels, and the snow. As fast as they got all this white stuff cleared, it covered it right back up. But as you can see, that's life here in Colville. So as long as it keeps coming down, I'll keep coming out and keeping it off. If you ask Carol Simpson, it comes with the territory up in Colville. If you just get out and shovel a little bit and keep on top of it, it's no big deal. And she'd know. At 82, she's been shoveling her walk as long as she can remember. I'm out doing my share. Sitting in the middle of a winter storm warning doesn't phase her. But as she shovels, she's been keeping an eye on the slippery, snow-covered roads. As the city gets dumped on with inches and inches of snow, Jeff Long, Colville's street director, has been doing the same. When it's snowing like this, you're just going round and round and showing the presence and open it up what you can. He's got all four of the city's plows running, doing what they can, but he admits they're outpaced. We didn't figure it was going to actually turn out to be this bad, but Mother Nature again fooled us. So. He says crews will finish their day today and then gear up for a 3 a.m. start tomorrow, and they'll plan for long hours. This is where we're at, and we're going to do the best we can. Down the road, Eric Messstreiner has faith they will. As a Netherlands transplant, I love this. This is uh, in the Netherlands, never that much snow. The beauty of the snow on the trees, space, fresh air, nice people. I really love this place. Is well worth the extra shoveling. But even he wouldn't mind if it slowed down just a bit. In Colville, I'm Hawk Hammer, KXLY4 News.